Hi everyone, so this is the second part of my sewing room makeover and I am going to start with the closet and if you miss the first part of this particular series, um, go ahead and look in the description box below and then you can also uh, see the first video to the series where you can actually see my messy sewing room. I am talking about the closet today and I want to share with you like what I have done so far and what I plan to do. So let me go ahead and flip this camera over so you can actually see what's going on here. Okay, so here is the current state of the closet. I don't know if you all remember, but I had stuff hanging all up on uh, this rack here. And then also there was uh, quite a bit of clutter up in this area. I reduced the clutter. I got rid of all of the uh, bins and I will show you what those look like here in a moment. But I put the vintage sewing patterns up there because I don't really sew with the vintage patterns all that much. So I just put those up there and I am thinking that this space here, I'm going to uh, put some more patterns once I get some more storage bins. Now for all of this here, I intend on creating my own uh, little bolts for fabrics to go on. And I'm going to go ahead and roll a lot of this. For the larger pieces, they may go on the bottom of the shelf in my new cabinets. So that way um, I can kind of, you know, uh, reduce the, the bulk of this. Uh, I also have hangers that I purchased from uh, Home Depot as well as uh, Burlington Coat Factory. Uh, these hangers are, they can be quite expensive because they are wood, but I feel like the wooden hangers, especially the hangers that have this uh, bar here for you to hang pants on. I feel like these wooden hangers are going to be a little bit more durable than the plastic ones and hold up over time. And since I am using fabric for this, I don't want these to bend or bow. So I am going to use this for um, to hang maybe some of my cottons, maybe some of my uh, silky type fabrics. Um, maybe even some of the more medium to heavyweight fabrics. So in order to um, kind of make more space for my sewing room and also to kind of condense some things, I bought a few more file cabinets. I'm going to get rid of the old one and this one is going to replace the old one because I just like the color more. It's a white file cabinet. I got this from Target. It came pre-assembled. The only thing that I have to do is put the knobs on. Um, it's very easy. It's a two, it's a three drawer um, file cabinet, but two of these uh, cabinets are deeper and this one is more shallow, but this is a, these two are really deep. And so they will be really great for um, the sewing pattern. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a look into the cabinets here so you can get an idea of how deep they are. Now, they don't look anything like my previous cabinet. My previous cabinet, I was able to get uh, two rows um, going down the length of the cabinet and two rows going across. So I'm a little bit concerned and I'm hoping that this will work, but if not, I will probably get some of those fabric storage um, uh, totes and put those up on my shelf in the closet. So that is another plan um, of mine as well. I made a template out of cardboard in order to make fabric organizers. And I did this because um, I wanted to save money as well as time. I was really not patient with waiting for the shipping on these. Um, and they are quite expensive as well. So I went to my local Dollar Tree and I purchased a presentation board for, you guessed it, $1. And I was able to get eight uh, fabric organizers with this one presentation board. It's just amazing. The dimensions are six by 10. If you want any more information about it, just leave me a comment in the description box below and I'll tell you more about these awesome fabric organizers that I've made. So for my new pegboard system, I decided to go with this white pegboard system right here and I purchased it off of Amazon and I purchased three sets of four. So each set comes with four 
11 by 11 pegboards and it's really easy and simple to install as you can see here they have very simple installation instructions it also comes with its own hooks which is really nice because i haven't really seen any hooks out there that actually fit this system what i love about this particular pegboard system is it has self-adhesive on the back of the brackets and it also has these little um small nail nails that you're going to be using for the project as well and the nails are so slim and so thin that they're not going to rip um big holes into your wall and the self-adhesive is is strong but it's not so strong that it's going to rip the paint off your wall so i like that system as well loving the white peg boards um i think they are you know they're bright obviously they're brighter than the black and also they look so much more compact and um and it doesn't seem to take up so much space. In terms of documenting, um, I haven't done a good job at documenting like the process of putting this together, like putting the cabinets together and the tables and all of that. So a few things um, that I wanna mention because this video is supposed to be about uh, basically the uh, process of my sewing room and sharing with you what my plans are so my plans here um uh, as you can imagine this pegboard this wall is going to be basically dedicated to uh some of my more favorite notions that i use on a daily basis and then i'm going to use this uh, little cabinet here this halifax i'm going to put uh, buttons i haven't decided which drawers i'm going to designate it for um which uh you know notions but that is the plan and i'm thinking about getting another one of these small cabinets for this side of the room as well so we're going to work on that this is my basically my brand color here and my logo so um, i'm going to do like a teal or a um like a tealish blue or a turquoise color um, or mint green so all of those uh color um, colors are within the color scheme of my logo so i am going to either do a rug that color or maybe i'll do maybe a grayish color to bring out maybe some of these um you know shadows and things like that so i haven't decided yet what i'm going to do with that this side of the room i am basically going to put cubbies over here and that's going to be um all fabrics and then also i want to take off the double doors here and put a curtain on there so one of these curtains will be um, on that double door here and then the other set will be um, on that wall and then I have another set um, that will be going possibly along the bottom of here to hide everything underneath my uh, cabinets there, underneath my tables so that's basically what I'm working on and what I'm going to be doing and then also let me show you real quickly inside of my cabinets here so um, I have quite a bit of space here and I am intending on using this for mostly fabrics. And then on the bottom shelf there, I left a little bit more room than these other shelves here. I left a little bit more room at the bottom because that's where I want to put all of my bulky materials like my wools, my denims, any type of heavy uh, corduroy or upholstery fabric or anything like that will go on the bottom of that shelf as well as the bottom of that one as well, the bottom of that cabinet. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. So now so I'm on the opposite side of the room um, where the window is here and um here are the cubbies so um the three that you see right here they are three and i stacked them on top of each other i did not want to stack the fourth one on top of here because it would cover the window so i put it on the side here and i think i'm going to order another one and put um the fifth one on this side here um my husband he made a mistake and put the backboard on 
the wrong side and once you nail those um, in the back it's really hard to take it out without ripping that press board so we decided to just leave that there we'll go ahead and start adding fabrics in these cubbies so that I can condense some of the mess that I have going on in the closet back there so um, that's basically what I'm going to be working on here pretty soon. Okay, so here I am um, in my sewing room and all my furniture has been moved in. And at this point, pretty much everything is done except for there are a few things that I need to do in the closet. And there are a few things that I need to um, do in terms of decoration. And I also need to spot clean. I might just, ju I might just um, completely steam clean my room um, completely. I haven't decided it's not like like terrible um but I do need to um most of this is just lint the black stuff that you're seeing is lint but I do also need to uh, steam clean the floor but I'm going to go ahead and give you a sneak peek into one of my closets here I'm not going to show you the whole thing because that's what the reveal video is for but um this is what I did to one of the shelves in here um, as you have already seen I made these little cardboard um fabric um storage uh things <laughs> and i wrapped um all of my mood fabrics and some of my fabric mark fabrics in um on that roll here but i did not do that for the entire unit and you will see during the uh reveal video uh what the entire cabinet looks like and why i did not uh continue this particular method I was also able to file all of my patterns in my new um, filing cabinets here. So I'm really excited about that. Um, in the process of doing this, I did de-stash my fabrics, or not fabrics, sorry. Yeah, I de-stashed my fabrics as well, but, and I got rid of, I think maybe six bags of fabric. It was, it was terrible, everyone. Um, but I also de-stashed my patterns, but I was able to get all my patterns in um, these two file cabinets. And then I have some, um, those little storage bins. It's similar to this here. I have um, storage bins, about four or five storage bins that are filled with um, patterns as well. And that just leaves my Vogue patterns here and these patterns are the ones that Vogue have not standardized so I just need to find a filing system for those um, patterns and then I will be done with my patterns okay so currently I am organizing buttons as you can see here they are all color-coded so I went ahead and I did that and now I am going to uh, put them in the drawer that I actually designated for them so let me show you the drawer. Okay, so here is the little cabinet here. This is, um, I believe it's called the Halifax. And um, I have designated this drawer here for it. So it is the second to the last drawer. So I am going to go ahead and put those in here. Um, I don't know how well they will uh, fit in here and what kind of organizational system I can set up. I was thinking about maybe taking rubber bands and placing them around the ones, um, the buttons that were all similar to one another and kind of like group them like that and just put them in the drawer. But I don't know. We'll see what I decide to do. As far as my vintage patterns, I decided to just go ahead and put them up here and not even mess with them. I did purchase some, um, those little sleeve, those sleeveless, uh, covers or those plastic, um, uh, sleeves to put all my vintage patterns in. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a moment. And so on another day, I'm just going to go through those vintage, vintage patterns and the ones that don't have those plastic covers on them. I'm going to go ahead and put those on. So here are the bags that I'm talking about. They're little um, six by nine clear self seal bags. And um, you get a pack of 200 and I think I paid maybe $6.99 for them or something like that. I haven't used them yet. I'll let you know how this uh, works once I use them. So that is my plan for, for those things. And at this moment, I just need to tidy up a bit 
and um, hang up all my decor and also um, put up my my curtains and things like that. Um, I have a mirror that I still need to put up and I think that about uh, covers it and uh, you'll just have to stay tuned for the reveal of the sewing room. All right, friends, that wraps up today's video of my sewing plans for my sewing room. If you haven't done so already, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can receive notifications of all my videos when I post them. All right, everyone, stay creative and have a blessed week. Bye.